What's going on, y'all? Um, I just want to do a quick little bit. You know, I was, uh, did a couple things today, uh, with the Hustler and with the Bobcat, and, um, I pretty much just got done. But, um, I just pulled the Bobcat in a couple minutes ago, and I was like, I just was looking down, and I'm like, you know what? I got 59.4 hours on this Bobcat, and, um, I'll probably be doing oil change in the next week or two. Um, but I'm like, you know what? I never took the covers off the spin. I never took the spindle covers off. You know, I've had it around three months now. Like I said, 59.4 hours. I never took these covers off. Uh, cause you know, you got to take a screw off and you know, it's not like those, uh, plastic ones that are on the Hustler. You know, the SD and the uh, regular Raptor, where you can just, you know, get a screwdriver and take them off. You actually need a socket and stuff. So, uh, this is all that was in there. This is what's in. Now, I, you know, you blow it out normal, normal blowing out, but I really expected this to be loaded with stuff. Now, I, I don't even really blow these out. If I go and have a big lawn that's really overgrown i kind of spend a little bit more time kind of blowing off uh the zero turn here but i haven't even really blown it off i just the reason why i'm showing this is um you know i'm a big um i'm no i'm gonna be forgetting the, the proper word i'm a big advocate of not keeping these spindle covers on um now, I should have taken them off here, but again, I, I just, you know, it's a little bit of a process, and I'm like, eh, whatever. So, uh, no, the reason I'm even shocked, I'm just shocked at, you know, all the lawns I've cut three months that this, I just had a feeling, well, I didn't have a feeling, I just, I had a feeling it was going to be as good as this. I don't know why, but, you know, what I'm kind of trying to tell you is some mowers, just are really good at getting grass away from your spindles now i mean this is another great feature of this mower and you know again i'm not saying this thing is the best mower it may seem like maybe in, i am a big advocate of the crz it's not i'm not you know it's just a, it's a really well priced awesome mower for the money cut cut and dry that's the that's the only thing about it um but you know, like I said, I mean, the Hustler Raptor, I have to have them off, even if I cut, you know, well-maintained lawns. The grass just freaking goes into the, this this part of the mower. Both of these spindle spindles on the left and right side, the, the guards are completely filled with grass. No matter, you can cut the beautiful, most maintained lawns. It does not matter. Grass is going to get in there. Um, and I've cut in a lot of long, big, overgrown yards with this mower also. And, um, you know, the reason why I'm even showing you this. Uh, you see that in there? Who the hell's... How the hell that get in there? Bastards. You bastard, you. Um, but, um, no, I, I, I had a feeling there wasn't going to be that much grass in here. But it came to be true. I just, I, I really think these covers, or this mower just, it really, you know, it doesn't, whatever the reason of the, the deck or the, the uh, discharge, you know, that thing with the Raptor, I think a lot of that, a lot of the clippings get in there because, I mean, the shoot of the deck, the, the uh, discharge shoot is so freaking small that I don't know what the issue is. It must fly up and somehow get get in there i don't i don't know the ways that um decks ac accumulate grass clippings where the spindles are i don't know but this system that the crz has is absolutely amazing like i said i barely blow these out um now that i know it protects as well as it does you know i don't want any issues with these belts obviously it's a big pain in the neck replacing these and this is something that i won't do myself a lot of people you know I do the oil, I do the hydro, I'll do a lot of stuff on my zero turns. When it comes to these belts, I don't I don't mess around with them. Um, oh, I want nothing to do with it. 
But I never had a belt. The only belt that ever broke was in my Husqvarna, and I was under warranty. It was the uh, drive belt. But I've never had any issues with belts. But you know, that's why I'm a big advocate of taking these, you know, spindle covers off. But I'm going to keep these on for now. Probably in the next, you know, two or three weeks, I'm going to take them off just because... Even though it does a pretty good job getting the clippings out. With leaves, it's a totally different story. Just they're everywhere. They're flying everywhere. So I'm not going to take any chances. But, you know, I'm going to be keeping these on pretty much now. Throughout the whole summers and everything. It, it's just another great, you know. If you're going to buy this mower, you don't really have to worry about clippings, you know. Messing up with your, messing up your spindles. Because um, there's really no grass accumulation at all. And again, if you blew this out the right way, you probably would have really nothing in there. Yeah, this bastard, you. You bastard. Yeah, so, um, that's it, man. Good, good mower here. Got some more seal coating jobs going on this week. Never ends. You gotta get them done before October over here in the East Coast. So, but that's about it, fellas. Um, hope everybody's having a good weekend. I did another video. Hopefully, I'll post it tomorrow for you. It's on uh, this little doozy here, man. This is a great little tool for those blades or working on your mower. You know, getting into those hard to reach spots. You know, either on the engine, underneath it, your mower, the hydros, and it's just a cool little tool. So, that's about it. Catch you later. Bastard, you.